I think as the new Minister of Tourism, the responsibility for economic development, investment, of course, tourism and energy. As you know, tourism uh, contributes nearly 70% of our gross domestic product. It's the most important industry in the country. Although we are trying our best to build up our other financial services industry in terms of offshore banking, offshore gaming, we had a dispute with the United States government where we went before the WTO and we are trying to diplomatically resolve that issue with the United States government so we can re-energize our offshore gaming industry. And we also have a new program called the Citizenship Investment Program whereby a citizen, you can become a citizen of Antigua and Barbuda by either three methods. First, you could make a cash contribution to the government of Antigua and Barbuda, that's the CIP, of 250,000 US dollars. Or you could buy a piece of real estate, a villa or build a home for 400,000 US dollars minimum. Or you could invest in option three, which is a business. And the minimum investment is 1.5 million US. The Antigua and Barbuda passport is very respected worldwide. We have an agreement with the European Union where we have visa-free access to all the European countries. We also do not have any restrictions on Canadian visas. You do not need to, have a, uh, uh, to get a Canadian visa with an Antiguan passport. So it's a very well-respected program that we are running. We do very careful due diligence to make sure that the clients and the applicants are screened properly and that they adhere to international standards because we don't want to do anything to hamper the Citizenship Investment Program. It's a very new program for Antigua and Barbuda and we have recently gone to Parliament to strengthen the laws there. In terms of the tourism, we have some very new exciting projects. As you know, we had recently held elections, general elections in June the 12th, 2014 of this year, where we got a clear mandate from the people of Antigua and Barbuda investment. We are seeing significant new investment come into the country. The Prime Minister Gaston Brown have recently signed an agreement with a Chinese company called Yida International where they're going to invest 2.2 billion United States dollars into a five-star resort. They're going to do two golf courses, a modern state-of-the-art conference center, casinos, and this is for the Ghana Island lands that was previously owned by an investor called Datotan Kehok. It's a beautiful island, I think approximately 435 acres offshore, and on the mainland there's about 1,100 acres. We're also looking at the defunct Half Moon Bay Resort, which has been closed since 1995 during Hurricane Lewis. And as you know, the Half Moon Bay Beach has been voted consistently for the last 10 to 12 years as the second most beautiful beach. It probably is the the most beautiful beach in the world. And we have some serious investors looking at that. We also <coughs> have some new investors looking of our sister island, Barbuda, to buy over the K-Club and to develop it into a five-star hotel. We are presently negotiating with the Chinese government for a concessionary loan of about 180 million US dollars to redevelop our entire port, our cruise ship to do dredging, sweeping of the harbor, so we can accommodate the larger vessels for 2015, 2016, and also to modernize it with new shops, casinos, cafes, a boardwalk, boutique hotel, and also to relocate the cargo facilities from the deep water harbor. And uh, we are also looking at the possibility of doing maybe a joint venture with one of the cruise lines, we're not at liberty to say which one, out at the Falmouth Harbour dockyard area, so that we can also have another port of entry there for our cruise ships. We are in the process of um, completing the construction of a state-of-the-art new airport terminal, which will be the most beautiful state-of-the-art in the OECS and it will hold about two million passengers per year. It's going to have beautiful duty-free shops, VIP, four air bridges to be incorporated, and will have a capacity, as I said, for two million passengers per year, and will have several VIP lounges 
and really beautiful duty-free shopping. And it would be the best in the entire Eastern Caribbean. We inherited an economy. The previous government for 10 years really did not bring any tangible new investors, investment to the country. The tourism sector did very bad. It slipped. And uh, in the last four months since being in office, we were able to negotiate with British Airways to add an additional flight, and also with Air Canada, and also WestJet out of Canada will be adding a larger aircraft of 179 seats, which will represent a 15% increase in seats out of Canada. And Air Canada, as I said, will be adding a flight for this winter for a total of five flights, four from Toronto and I think one from, uh, I think it's Montreal. Um, Pleasantly, we have direct daily flights from JFK um, on American Airlines, and we have direct daily flights from Miami on American Airlines. Another thing we are negotiating, we went to Panama and to Bogota, and we're negotiating the possibility of bringing Copa Airlines to Antigua to get at least three flights per week, and also Avianca Airlines, we met with the president and CEO, and it's a new policy of our new administration for the removal of visa requirements so there will be no visas for Chinese and Indian tourists because as you know that market collectively is about 700 million people and that market really and truly is bigger than the entire population of the United States and Europe is the natural transit point we are also going to implement within the next 30 to 60 days removal of visa requirements for a number of Latin American countries to include Brazil, to include Argentina, Venezuela, Chile. And once those visa requirements are removed, then the market starts and the traffic starts to come and grow from these developing new markets. So we are not just looking at the traditional markets of the United Kingdom and North America and Canada, but also to open up the Latin American and emerging markets and also China. And this group leader, we have already paid 65 million US, I believe it is, for the lands at Ghana Island, their serious group, and it's going to create a lot of employment. And what I'm afraid of is that we may have to import labor because we have so many new investors coming in every single week. Prime Minister Gaston Brown just returned to Antigua yesterday because we're celebrating our independence, our 33rd year of in political independence. And he just came back from a citizenship investment program hosted here in London. And then he went on to Dubai to meet some new investors. And also he attended the Henley & Partners citizenship investment program in Singapore. So it was a very productive trip for Prime Minister Brown. And every single week we see new investors coming in who want to build new hotels. And it's very encouraging for us.